Hi there, it's Karen Lepa with VintageDazzle.Etsy.com here with another vintage haul. I actually went to the flea market for the first time in a while, so uh, and I found some really cool stuff. Not a huge bunch of stuff, but some of it is pretty interesting. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to show you the jewelry first, which is what I normally do. And this first item is a little beaded necklace, and it has an articulated fish pendant, which I love these. They always sell. This is a tiny one. Um, a lot of times these fish are sterling silver. This one has really nice enamel work. And uh, the beads are like cat's eye and uh, some other decorative that look like blown glass or decorative, uh, you know, Venetian glass beads. Not sure though, probably a mid-century necklace. And that I got for five dollars. Then I got a couple of these Native American seed bead pendants. This one, I'm almost positive, is genuine, genuinely old and genuine Native American because of the tiny stitching, the fact that it's on deer hide, and this little snap is deer hide, and it's the rope. It's just the beads are so tiny and it's just really beautifully done. And that was that one was five dollars. And then this one, um, probably a little newer. It's got a. Um, it may have been repaired, but it does have a lobster claw clasp. So, um, but I just thought it was really pretty. Pretty colors. The last one I had of these was a porcupine quill reach the rest of this jewelry. Mm. Uh, it had porcupine quills in it and that one uh, generated a lot of interest and sold really fast and for good money. Uh, okay, let's see. We have um, this is a tiny little agate, sterling silver and agate brooch. And keep copying things. Okay, I'm going to have to go get that in a minute, but um, that one was, now I've forgotten, I think that one was five dollars, might have been ten, I think it was five. And this little guy, the little, oops, he's completely costume jewelry, little turtle brooch with mother of pearl pebbles as a shell. There's no marking on him, I probably had no business buying him, but I just thought he was so cute. And uh, I think I paid five for him. We have this. Uh, this. Let's see, it goes this way. This pen, which is a military uh, paratrooper. I think it's a World War II. It's made by Meyer Inc. of New York. It is sterling silver, and um, has two little tacks on the back. So it was probably a. Uh, meant for a hat or a collar pin, something like that. I need to do a little more research on it. But the, the little military pins always sell really fast. And this is a really nice one. And I paid um, five for that. And we have a lovely pendant with a pale green translucent stone. I suppose that's jet. I mean jet. Jade. Could it be jade? It actually could be jade. It's a very light color. I'll have to look at it more closely. But anyway, that was $10. Uh, paid up on this ring. Might have been a mistake. I mean, not a terrible mistake. But this is a, I believe it's turquoise. And sterling silver. And it's kind of and when I picked it up at first, I thought it was, you know, Southwestern Native American, but it's really more like a brutalist style. That kind of crumpledy look around the edges of it. And it is signed by the artist, who's Davis. I thought, oh, this is going to be a breeze. I'll figure out who this is. Haven't yet. But it is very heavy. And, um, 
and it's it's nice. So I pay twenty for that. And this is a Lorenza mesh bracelet. This is probably about a um, oh, mid-century piece. And it does have a couple of missing pearls, but those are so easy to fix. I have lots and lots of pearls in different sizes and colors, and I'm usually successful in finding a good match. And they just pop right in with a little dot of glue, so that'll be easy. And uh, uh, runs of jewelry always does well. Okay, we have uh, this turquoise ring. centerpiece for these. And does this have a mark on it? I don't think this is signed or marked in any way. And then we have this, another turquoise ring. Very Navajo looking. And I'm thinking this is probably not marked at all either. It's been a few days since I since I bought all this stuff, so I can't remember too well. Okay, then I would have a very nice little sterling silver and moonstone pendant. Moonstones are always a popular choice. I really like. I think that's just a pretty design. And that was ten. Necklace, which I believe is agate, but I'm really not 100% sure, but I think that's what it is. It's natural stone anyway. Anytime I can pick up a natural stone beaded necklace for five or under, I do it. I like the kind of subdued colors in this one. That was five. And then, what well, this big long string of Amethyst. You could wear this as a necklace or you could, you know, make, make other things with it. I think it was, where's the, it's got a, an, oh yes, it's got a, a little end on it right there. I don't know exactly what that's for. Anyway, that was also $5. And that does conclude our jewelry. I have four pieces of non-jewelry to show you. Uh, so I'll start with this. I just thought this was so pretty. Um, I do think it's probably uh, German or something like that. So maybe Polish. Uh, I'm not sure what it's made out of. I think it's probably silver plate. Uh, it does have some marks on the bottom, some little hallmarks. I don't know whether those are faux hallmarks or real ones. But um, it says, it says something, something, and then it says W and G, I think. It says C, O, W, and G, or something like that. That's, see it. It's, the inside is, looks old, makes it look really old, so. And it looks like, you know, it was once very shiny. I actually prefer that, with the little patina on it. It's got a rattan handle. It's just nice. It's very nicely made. That was $15. This is a Plains Indian gauntlet. I don't know which tribe. It was probably sold as a souvenir, but maybe not. I'm not sure. It may have been one of a pair and the other one got lost. I mean, they do kind of look like they've been used, like worn. They've got 
wear and a little soiling on the fingers. So, you know, it might have been, I don't know. But um, I've seen pairs of these that sell for big bucks. So, and it, they're deer skin. The beadwork is all in really good condition. The leather, like I say, is a little bit worn, but no holes or tears or anything. And I paid 10 for that. Can I tell you that? And this. I have always wanted one of these. This is an antique, probably Victorian era, glass trinket box with the Paris Arc de Triomphe on the lid. These were very popular souvenirs in the, la in the 19th century. And it's got a mirror on the inside. And it's in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of wear to the... The, the picture had some has some iridescence to it. I'm not sure what the... if it's hand painted. I think it might be reverse painted. And it has a name on it. It says like... What does that say? It says... Sir de Paris. I think that's what that says. At, at Sir de Paris. And then Arc de Triomphe. Mm, I guess it's not hand painted. It looks more like a, a lithograph. The colors may have been added by pan. In fact, I'm sure they, those were added by hand. But anyway, I just I, they're always real expensive when I find them. And I found this one for $40 and I bought it. So, I have one more item to show you. I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and show you. So, I saw this, and I just had to find out how much it cost, because it's so pretty. Obviously, this is Asian, probably. Chinese? Yeah, it's got to be Chinese. Um, it's got a drawer down here, and this is a tray that pulls out. Well, okay, I'm not going to, can't do it one-handed, but anyway. And then all of these drawers, oh, here we go. So they're all, they've all been lined with silk and padded, every drawer. This one has the space for the rings. It's looking very orange in the video, but it's actually quite pink, kind of a flamingo pink. Maybe a little orange. One more. That one's got more spaces for rings. So in recent years, the Chinese have been taking these old cabinets, because this is definitely not new, and updating them with the silk lining and padding and then selling them to the Western market. I've seen, I, you, you, almost every flea market I see these. And I just have to ask, it's got, you know, little brass, uh, brass corners here. And it's got inlay. I'm not sure, I think it's just wood inlay. Nothing's really missing. There's a couple of the brass pieces are bent, but other than that it's in really good condition. And guess how much it was? It was ten dollars. I had to buy it. I just had to buy it. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to sell it for, but it's going to be a heck of a lot more than ten dollars. So, yes, I only had a tiny little cart. My big cart fell apart bought a new cart. It's very tiny and um, I'm figuring that will help me stay on track and not buy so many big things that are hard to ship. But of course I came home with this. So Anyway, alright. And that's it. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it very much. If you like this, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I do these hauls periodically when I get stuff, and I also do 
what are intended to be weekly vlogs where I show you what I'm listing and what's selling and how much it's selling for. Um, and yeah, I usually, when I get going, I usually am doing about two videos a week, so it's not, you're not going to be bombarded if you subscribe. Uh, but anyway, uh, leave a comment if you care to. I love comments. I respond to all, except for the spammers, and have a great day. See you again soon. Bye.